Good afternoon. Um, welcome to a very rainy day. The sun has not smiled on us today at all. So I've got my Mac on and I'm not coming to you from Belleville. We're just across the road at uh, Lowman View. Um, so within the grounds of Lowman View School, we have a polytunnel. Um, so we're really lucky to have, have that. It's something that we refurbished as, as part of a grant from STV um, chance to connect to do with the children's lottery STV children's lottery gave us the money to refurbish that so we're really lucky to have that as a resource for ourselves to grow indoors um, because obviously with the Scottish weather as you can see today it's sometimes it's not incredibly reliable um, particularly with climate change as well you find the weather patterns are changing and sometimes summers are not quite what they were so it's great to have an inside resource who's here today Tracy hello I hope you're well uh, hi Janet yeah I'm getting pretty soaked so I'm going to go indoors in a minute I just wanted to show you something outside first so I'll show you some some potatoes growing while I'm talking to you um, how is everybody today how are you feeling how's your week been um, I've had a really odd week it's been busy on some days and quiet on others I don't know has any, is anyone feeling stressed today or is anybody chilled because it, in a couple of hours it's gonna be the weekend um, I hope you're feeling okay um, so I'm finding that um, I'm just trying to think of how I'm feeling and I don't know how you are. How's your, where's your breathing today? Are you breathing up um, in your chest or in your, in your neck? You know, are you feeling very anxious? Have you had to go outside this week and it's made you, for the first time, that's made you feel quite anxious? Why don't you have a, have a think for two minutes and stop, um, stop and think how your breath's coming along? Um, so I'm just going to try and do a bit of breathing, I suppose, and see... Get in, trying to get in touch with my own body. Often we're so busy thinking about updating Facebook and answering all phones and emails. Um, you know, we're not thinking about actually how we're feeling in ourselves. So at the moment, my neck is normal is, is, and shoulders are quite sore because I hunch over my computer. So I'm going to try and sort of bend out and stretch a little bit. And I'm going to try and take a few breaths sort of in through my nose and down and try and spread my breath right the way sort of down my down my body and it's I think it's so funny that even just concentrating on yourself just giving yourself a permission to do that just for a few minutes actually just make you feel a lot better so I'll go back to the potatoes again Has anyone tried that is that helping anybody do you feel like if you can stick can you stand up rather than sitting down or just even just put your shoulders back a bit and just stretch a little bit it's Friday come on you can spend two minutes on yourself right so let's talk a bit about potatoes. So these potatoes um, have been earthed up. So potatoes are planted in the ground. Um, so we planted these, gosh, I think back in, in April. So you plant potatoes after the frosts have come off. So we planted these in April, I think beginning of April. And then as they grow, you do what you call earthing them up, which means that you just push earth around them. It's no more complicated than that. Sometimes people have all these complicated terms for things, but earthing up is just pushing the soil around them. Um, and that means that because they're tubers that grow under the ground, so it means that there's much more room under the ground for them to grow. And actually, even though it's raining, um, you know, when you're in the rain, it's never actually as bad as you think it's going to be when you're outside. And there's that lovely smell of the rain soaked earth coming through as well. I love the smell of earth and I love touching the earth. See, if you feel the ground at this sort of time of year, it's really quite warm. Even, even though it's had this cold rain on it, the, the ground is, is not a cold ground from the winter anymore. It's, it's, I think it's so good sometimes just, oh, you're going to think I'm a right tree hugger, but just sometimes just get your hands in the soil and have a feel of it. I think it does, it does wonders for you. So we're going to go quickly into the polytunnel. This might be a bit of a shorter um, chat today. Hi Sarah, hi Michelle, hi Michelle, I hope you're all right. Good to see you Sarah. I'd wave back to you if I knew how to do it when I'm talking at the same time. Um, so inside our polytunnel, um, we've got lots of tomatoes growing. So this is a view just all around it. We've got loads of tomatoes growing. Um, we've also been very kindly from a supermarket gifted a few flowers that are here that have just come in. Um, these are actually one of my favorite flowers. I don't know if anybody knows what this is, this is Agapanthus. Agapanthus loves the sunshine and it loves to be crammed in together with lots of, they, they grow, um, start off as bulbs and they love to be crammed in together into a pot. Um, it's so much so that you think you're really overcrowding and hurting them, but no, they, they absolutely love being overcrowded. 
um, and they they set up a beautiful display in the summertime. So here's our some of our tomato plants. We've been gifted quite a few this year, so thank you. I think Janet, you gifted some of these, which are growing really well. So if you wanted to know about tomatoes, last week Lucy on her Get Growing Inverclyde um, site which is part of Belleville, so it's a group within Belleville that you can look at. She talked all about tomatoes, everything you wanted to know about growing them. Um, so you can actually review that, it's there. She goes live every day, so she'll be on at 3.30 today talking to you, um, and you can actually go on at the same time and ask her questions today. Um, and it's all about um, bugs and pests today, which is great, because this time of year, sometimes they really do get hold of crops. Um, but last week, you can have a look at that, it was all about growing tomatoes and there's this wonderful smell of tomatoes. I think, how do you describe a tomato smell? It's like a sort of furry smell. Um, it's, and these tomatoes, they haven't actually, they've got little flowers, they come in. Your tomatoes at home might be more advanced than ours in here, these, these were sown quite late. Um, but, um, but you can actually eat the leaves as well of tomatoes which is not something I've tried I saw a recipe for it the other day and thought well that's interesting they don't really seem their smell and their texture the furry texture doesn't actually seem that appetizing but you never know so moving along here everything's quite closely um, sewn together and you can decide to do that because obviously then you're taking the weeds out of the equations or you can space things out so they grow bigger so these are cabbages growing so I think these need maybe need a little thinning out these cabbages here and here is what looks like it could be could be some sort of a pumpkin or a squash plant I think it's not labeled and here now this John has used some very inventive tying using these soft they look a bit like the cord you'd have sort of round a bathrobe but they're great actually because tomatoes often need a little bit of help growing um, either with a cane or with tying them up like this so don't let yours get too tall before you tie them and then when they've reached high enough um, for you, pinch out the tops of them as well. So that means that they stop growing up and they start concentrating on, on the fruits and, 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 and ripening the fruits and, and rather than growing up all the time. Just gonna have a little look around here. So has anybody been to on the site to see um, the 330 group with Lucy? Um, it's really worth having a look because um, she's, she's a font of all knowledge of growing plants. So here are some pepper plants. Has anyone got these at home? Janet, you've got some of these, haven't you, in your windowsill? Michelle, have you got any of these at home? Um, so these, sometimes they grow outside. When I used to live in Yorkshire, I used to grow peppers outside, um, less so in Scotland. Um, so you see, there's so some of these plants growing here. Look, you can see these are chilies. Look at these chilies growing. That's quite an impressive chili there. So they start off green, you can leave them green if you want, or they can go red, or sometimes there are other colours like yellow, even white, some chilies are. Let's see what these are. And these are pepper plants, unicorn peppers. Again, these have been grown quite late. And that's the thing, you see, it's not, you don't have to do absolutely everything by the book. You know, some years you get things, you get um, more success. Um, sometimes you know than other years and that's fine you know even like Monty Don the god of all growing you know he doesn't get things right all the time and that's the thing you just experiment and keep experimenting and sort of enjoying growing and not get too wound up about planting things exactly the right time exactly the way that they say in books so I'm going to tell you saying that I'm going to show you sorry some things that have gone wrong here so come and look at these tomatoes so what do you think has gone wrong here looks like they're all right now so if I have a look inside if they were going really wrong then then the, the leaves would be all sort of limp but they're not there's some new growth coming here that looks fine I think these are probably crisped up nicely when it was really really dry the other day um, oh there's Lucy hi Lucy yes I've reminded people I've forgotten every single week consecutively but now I've done a really good reminder to remind everybody to come and see you later on at 3:30. <laughs> Oh, so Michelle's saying that maybe they were her um, peppers that I was just referring to earlier. So I just wanted to show you that to show that, um, that often things do go wrong. And this has obviously gone quite wrong. But, you know, plants recover. They're quite sturdy. That one looks a bit wronger than the, the rest of them. But they do, they do come round again. There's really no worries at all. 
and I'll show you last off just before I might leave you today I'll show you some broad beans so these have actually only been grown in a pot because that's all we had space for outside Belleville but they're still coming along with their pods here that's a broad bean pod so if you've not had broad beans before they're great to grow they're so easy to grow with kids they look like the beans from Jack and the Beanstalk you plant them around sort of April time March April, end of March April time which is when you plant you know a lot of things to do with the garden um, and they they grow the most amazing beans actually what I'm going to do is because there are other beans coming I'm going to show you inside this bean because if you've not seen a broad bean it is amazing so inside has got like a it's like a furry sleeping bag and there are the beans there so these are little ones you could let them grow a little bit bigger um, and what you do is you can eat them raw or cook them what I normally do is take there's like an outer case there which I've just see I'm stroking that with my with my thumb there's an outer sort of clear casing there that you can eat but actually it's nicer if you take that off and have it in salads there's I don't really remember seeing broad beans in the shop for a long time you know they're one of those that you don't really get so it's great to be able to grow them at home and that's one I'd really recommend growing with kids if you can if you have missed the opportunity to grow these at home this year so far you can actually overwinter them so you can plant a variety called Aquadulce in October and you can let it overwinter so that means it grows a little bit during the winter sets up a really good root stock and then come the spring it's raring to go so it crops really early right that's just a quick whiz round our polytunnel in the rain it's absolutely pouring outside and it's freezing cold you would never think it's July but anyway it is and I just wanted to wish you all a fantastic weekend I hope you're all well try and give yourself a little 15 minutes even later on today just to think about how you're breathing and just try and give yourself some time to stop all your thoughts buzzing and just to sort of relax because it is the weekend you deserve that sort of 15 minutes just to chill out um, and i'll see you next week don't forget to watch lucy later on at 3 30. take care bye